So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new style of MoGraph animation with using Cinema 4D R25. But guys, you can use any Cinema 4D version. So now guys, it's best tutorial for beginners. So guys, I teach you how I create this type of beautiful MoGraph animation. So first of all guys, I'm going to take uh, this one, Alex and guys, I change plane, plane like this. So guys, go to on here, that's my hand radius, hand radius are like zero and hand angle increase like guys, like 2000 is good. Yeah. And guys, see that's my height, height I like 450. Yes. See guys, that's my like a Christmas tree shape, right? Okay, so now, guys, this time I'm going to take a circle, this one, and circle radius, I like 5 centimeter, and next one, guys, I take swap tool. So guys, select both shape, this one, and make shall we swap, yes. Okay, so now, guys, I change this swap option, so go to on detail, guys, select the swap, and detail, and that's my skill size. So guys, now click on mid one. So holding control key and click. Guys, that's my third point. So first one, go to down. And third one, go to down. Yes. So guys, that's my shape. Okay. So next one, guys. This time, that's my first shape. And I like, guys, take some objects like cube. Yeah. And guys, closer. Guys, size like 15 15 and 15 yeah so guys next one go to fill it guys fill it rate is 0 0.5 and guys subdivision i like 5 yeah okay so now guys this time duplicate this cube press ctrl c and v and select this cube one guys x1 that's my guys size dot y i like 8 half Yes, see guys, that's my second cube. Okay, so next one, guys, I take spare and spare radius are like 10 and increase segment like 24 is good. And lastly, guys, you can take any object like capsule and chain size like this. Yes, guys, I like this capsule and radius, guys, like 5 is good and height 22. And increase segments like 8, 8, and and guys, segments like 30. Go to display, yes. Okay, guys, 30. Okay, see, guys, that's my objects. And now, guys, this time I apply cloner. So go to one more graph and use cloner. Guys, select all shapes and make child with cloner. Yes, guys, select this cloner and mode to change object like this. And see, guys, that's my object. So apply on swap tool, drag and drop like this. Simple, right? It's really simple. Okay, so now, guys, I create animation. So, guys, frame, I like 500. And see, guys, that's my count. And, guys, distribution, use surface. So count, go to on zero frame and count check. And now guys go to on like 200 frames, 200 and count like 1000, enter and press this animation key. Okay, so guys go to back and play. See guys, that's my simple objects animation. Okay, so but guys see that's not correct. So right click on this cloner and apply this time rigid body tag. This one, yeah. And guys, go to on force. Guys, follow position 5 and rotation 5. So, 5, enter. Yes, guys, go to back and play. Yeah, much better. See, guys, that's my simple MoGraph effect. Okay, so now, guys, this time I change gravity. So, go, I go to on mode, project. And guys, go to dynamic. And see, guys, that's my gravity. Gravity, I like 0. So guys, go to back and play. Yeah. 
See guys, that's my really cool animation. So stop, guys, go to back and play. Yes, really good. See guys, that's my animation, right? Okay, so now guys, this time I create rotation animation on this one shape. So now I select this cloner and this time I apply spline effector, this one, spline effector. Yeah. And guys, go to an effector. See guys, that's my spline. So go to one swap tool. That's my shape. Select this spline. Drag and drop on spline. Right? Okay. So now guys, go to back and play. Yes. See guys, that's really cool effect. It's really simple tutorial guys. Right? Best tutorial for beginners. Okay. So now guys, I create more rotation animation. So guys, go to an offset and offset check on zero frame. And lastly, guys, go to 500 and offset I like 100 and press this animation key. So guys, go to back and play one more time. Yeah, that's really cool effect, guys. Best tutorial for beginners. Okay, and guys, really simple. See, guys, that's my really cool rotation effect. Right. Okay, so now, guys, this time. I apply more smoothness. So guys, this time select this cloner. And this time I apply formula effector, this one. Yes. And guys, go to back and play. Yeah. See guys, that's my different, different style of animation. Guys, I change strength effector. And guys, stand like 50. So guys, go to back and play. Yeah. That's my randomly shape animation yeah really good see guys that's my cool effectors okay so now guys this time i apply go to on guys i apply this time more smoothness of use delay factor this time delay this one and guys go to on mode i use spring and strength are like 70 percent enter you guys go to back and play Yes, see guys, that's really cool, right? It's really good, guys. Okay, so now, yeah, that's my really cool animation. Guys, stop. Guys, select this formula effect. And guys, you can also change this strength like 30. It's dependent on your work. Yes. Okay, so now, guys, I take one more particle effect. So, guys, select this cloner. And duplicate, press Ctrl C and V. Yeah, guys, select this cloner and I go to effector. Guys, delete all this one and guys, select this tag that's my rigid body tag and follow position zero and zero. Yes, okay, so guys, select this cloner and go to object. Yes, guys, go to back and play. Yes, see, guys, that's my particles. Right. Okay. So now I select this one and first one height and see guys, that's my second one particle. Yeah, that's my second one. Okay. So guys select this one key. That's my five, 200 key. So change to 500 like this. Select and guys go to on 500 like this. Yeah. Okay. So guys go to back and play. Yes. See guys, that's my dynamic. Okay, so now, guys, this time, select this one swap tool and right click and apply collider tag. This one, collider body. Yeah. And guys, go to back and play. Yes. See guys, that's my really cool particle. Guys, that's my second particle effect. Okay, so guys, stop. And guys, you can change this count. So go to one last one. And guys, change like 500 is good for me. So press animation key. And guys, go to back and play. Yes. See guys, that's my next one particle. It's really cool. Right? Okay, so now, guys, go to one cloner one. So guys, go to back and play. Yes. See guys, that's my final particle animation. That's my... First one and guys, second one. Okay, so now, guys, my 
particle animation is finished and guys this time i apply material so guys go to file and merge tag my cinema for the studio light and open guys close guys you can download this material and cinema 4d studio light from my website is free so guys select this one over at soft box and guys go to unmade like this yeah and guys next one i take camera so camera check guys set your camera angle like zero rotation all zero and guys set one minus 1100 yeah it's good little bit change yes okay see guys that's my camera angle it's good and guys low little bit down yes right okay so now guys i apply material so go to on here load material and select and apply and guys uh, you can apply different different style of material and like guys little bit up guys apply material like object cube and this one and guys spare and purple yes and guys second material like this one cube spare so guys that's my orange yes and lastly guys you can apply like cube yes see guys that's my beautiful material and lastly guys swap tool and apply red material yes right okay so guys my final effect is finished and guys i apply beautiful colorful material and now guys go to on render setting guys i apply this time mb occlusion and global illumination that's it and t select best and guys max level i like two so guys go to and save i like jpeg sequences guys i create jpeg sequences so guys create new folder like ran and take any file name like this guys go to output and use all frame that's it guys so guys close and take render okay so guys that's it my final effect is finished it's my really cool MoGraph animation so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you